Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix Windows Defender and your firewall to allow Java through it. Most likely you are having this issue starting a Minecraft server, either through one of our videos or through another video. You've tried to set up a Minecraft server and people can't join and you've somehow figured out that it could be your firewall or Windows Defender doing it, right? And that's what we're going to be showing you in this video. We're going to be showing you how to enable Java in your Windows Defender as well as how to enable Minecraft, even though you actually don't have to enable Minecraft in Windows Defender, which is a little weird, but nevertheless, we're going to be showing you how to do that in order for you to have your friends join your Minecraft servers. Now, we'll say that the easiest way to start a Minecraft server is with our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to set up an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends and not have to worry about all this Windows firewall and port forwarding and all that. You don't have to worry about any of that with Apex Minecraft hosting. They make the process super simple, super easy. You can have the server just for your friends and family, or it can be completely public, and it's not hosted on your own computer's hardware, meaning you don't have to worry if your computer's even good enough to run a server or anything like that. So if you're starting a Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go. We actually love them so much that we put our money where our mouth is and host our own server, playedoutbreakdowncraft.com, through Apex Minecraft hosting. So again, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start a server in the quickest and easiest way possible. But how do you enable Windows Defender if you're starting a server yourself? Well, first you need to get the correct version of Java here. So this is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft, right? It's specifically for Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. Come here and make sure you're getting this correct version of Java downloaded. In order to get this running, it is the second link down below. And once you've got the correct version of Java installed, we can then go ahead and get on to enabling it in Windows Defender. So if we minimize our browser, the first thing we want to do is come up here to the top left, right? The top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and click on that. Then you want to search for Control Panel. And then have this Control Panel here. Mine says Control Panel 1. Yours may just say Control Panel. doesn't matter. Click on that. Then once you're here, you want to find Windows Defender Firewall. Now I will say this is for Windows 10, right? So that is the thing. This is for Windows 10. If you're on an older version of Windows, this might not work the exact same way. But for me, we're looking for Windows Defender Firewall on Windows 10. Then when we click on that, it's going to open up this. Now you might have had to go through an administrative settings prompt. If you did, just go ahead, allow, click through, it's fine. And then we want to come over here to the left hand side and click on advanced settings here, right? And again, you may have to, when you click on advanced settings, go through like an administration tool or an admin, you know, conf confirmation or something like that. If that's the case, it's okay. Then once you're here, you want to click on inbound rules. Now, what we want to do is go down through this list and find Java. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of Javas here, right? A lot of different Javas. Now, most of these are, as you can see, enabled. They have this green check. However, if for whatever reason they don't have a green check, they're blank like this, right? If that's the case, go ahead and click on Enable Rule there, right? That's what you want to do. If you can, click on Enable Rule on them. However, sometimes they're like this. Just to say they are blocking a connection, and you can actually disable these, right? But it's still blocking the connection. How do you fix that? Well, you click on Properties. So you select them over here, right? Right, like so, you select them, or you can double click on them, but you select them and then click on properties. And then once you're here, you wanna change this from block this connection to allow the connection and then click apply and click okay. As you can see, that has now changed that to green. Same thing with this one, we can click on properties here, then we can click allow connection and then click apply and click okay, right? So if it is disabled and you can just click on enable rule, do that, otherwise click on property and click allow connection. You need to do this for every Java thing that's here, whether it's Java Java TM platform SE binary, Java W, whatever it is, if it has the word Java in it, you need to enable it here by clicking on, you know, that enable rule or by clicking on properties. Now, Minecraft, if you scroll down, is the same thing. I have two things for Minecraft here. You will need to either click on Enable Rule, right? So click on Enable Rule, like, like so, if that's there. If it doesn't say Enable Rule, but it's that like, you know, blocked, as you can see, this little like, you know, circle with a line through it. If it's that, you wanna go ahead and click on properties here and then click on allow the connection and then click okay, apply all that and it will work right like so. Now for most people, Try starting your server. At this point, if you've got Java there and all that's there, especially if one of these was blocked, it was that circle with the line through it, most of the time you're now good to go, right? You are now perfect. You don't have to worry about anything. You can now start your server without any problems. However, there are some of you that might not have any Javas here, right? If you don't have any Minecrafts, that's oddly enough okay, but if you don't have any Javas here, what do you do? Well, in that case, you need to add it. How do you do that? Well, you can on this plus new rule right up here at the top. So this new rule dot dot dot, click on that. That's then gonna open up a little dialog box or actually a rather large dialog box here where we wanna go ahead and click on program and then we wanna click on next. And then we wanna click on this browse right here. This is going to allow us to browse 
our computer and find the program that we're looking for. So what I want to do here and what everybody's going to do actually is click on local disk right over here on the left hand side you should have something like local disk your main computer drive and then you want to go into program files then you want to find Java and then you want to go into whatever this is. It might not be the exact same as mine, but it should be some folder that says JRE at the front of it. Click on that. And then you want to go into the bin folder here. And then you want to scroll down or right here, click on java.exe, right? So you want to double click on that, then click on next, allow the connection, click on next. I'll make sure all of those are checked and then click on next and then click finish. Oh, you have to enter a name. Sorry. This would be Java manual add. So that way, you know, I know what this is. So Java manual add and then click on finish. Now there it is Java manual add and it's checked. We need to repeat this process. We actually need to click new rule again, right? We need to click new rule again. We again need to click on program, click next. We need to click on browse again, right? This time we're already in Java though. So we don't have to go through that entire process of finding it, but we want to select Java w.exe, right? And then click on next. Make sure it says allow connection. Click on next. We want to make sure all these are checked. Click on next, and then finally, this is going to be Java W manual add, right like so, and then click on finish. Then again, we'll have now these two at the top, Java manual add and Java W manual add. And guess what? You have now enabled Minecraft servers to run in your firewall by enabling Java to run in your firewall. Most people never have to do these manual ads though. Most of the time you'll have Java down here as either Java TM platform SE binary or as Java W and you'll be able to enable those there and you'll be good to go. But if you do have to manually add them, that is how you can do it. If for whatever reason you did add these and you didn't need them, you can just delete them right like so by the way and they will go away and you'll be perfectly fine. But there you have it. That is how you can do that. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Feel free to close out of all this at this point. If this still isn't working, if you still can't join your Minecraft server as a test and only as a test, by the way, you can actually come in here and turn off Windows Defender if you wanted to. You can do that by coming over here to turn Windows Defender firewall on or off. Click on that and you can turn it off on public and private networks. But do not do that unless you are going to turn it right back on. Only do that for like a split second to make sure that's the issue. Then go do what we did earlier and add those in to allow connections through, right? That's the only reason you want to do that because it is not a good idea, okay? It is not a good idea to have Windows Defender off that all sorts of viruses, all sorts of different, you know, security attacks. Don't turn Windows Defender off ever unless it's just to test that and then you turn it right back on. Don't forget to turn it back on either. Or again, you could have some major issues there. So that's that, that's how you can do that. And again, you don't have to do any of this when you get a server with Apex Minecraft hosting. They're absolutely incredible. We love Apex. They're super quick, super easy to set a server up with. So if you do want a server, go check out Apex at the first link down below. And don't worry about your firewalls at all. They take care of all of that for you. Apex has great security, DDoS protection, all of that stuff. And again, it's hosted on their hardware, so you don't have to worry about Windows Defender, port forwarding, or even having a good enough computer to run a server. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If we helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome Minecraft content with servers, with mods, with everything. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Again, I am Nick. This has been a long outro, and I'm out. Peace.